time. First of all, when Mark said, right, come on then, you've got to do some in our order. How you foster your love of learning at your school? I went, Ugh. okay, so I asked uh, one of my teachers if some of their children could do it. So they did. So first of all, um, best bit is my kids doing a video. If I can get it to work. I'll be nice to be recorded. Right. <laughs> Look 
four eights come in school. Um, because my favourite lesson is math, so we do always do something really cool in math. My, I, my favourite lesson is literacy, art and I, ICT, because on ICT we always play some really fun games and stuff, and literacy I'm really good at writing stories and stuff, and correcting stories. And I just like doing art because I really, really good at it and just good at video. Okay. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so that's Marley, Marley and Molly's uh, take on um, why kids love learning at school. Okay, so um, I'm going to ask the children, I then ask uh, some of the teachers, and um, really I just, I so do not want to read uh, all that stuff out to you, but um, what I wanted to just really pick out a few things that we do that has really impacted on the learning, but in not necessarily straightforward ways. Okay, so we've, we're using um, maths and reading buddies in uh, uh, year five and six for the reception. So uh, we've got uh, split lunch times, and so that last quarter of an hour, uh, quite a few children in year five and six are coming down to spend the first quarter of an hour in uh, reception time, um, literally doing one-to-one -one reading support, or also math support, but we've used the less able mathematicians in year six working with children in reception, and it has given the least able children in reception a massive boost, but also those children in year six. It's completely transformed their confidence and their attitude to maths. Um, and uh, one of the girls uh, has invented this new character, Matt Brown, and she like dresses up and uh, laughs. But uh, it is beyond. They, and the, the thing is, the children have uh, have literally learned to become teachers, and they're doing little bits of planning. They've they've learned how to assess. So now we can use the labels they are writing in the learning diaries because they have learned. So they've learned to become teachers, and the behaviour has improved in class because they understand how difficult it is to teach somebody somebody, and they're not listening. Okay, so. Um, um, oh yes, yeah, so Kev said, um, yeah, create and plan fantastic, fantastic learning opportunities. And uh, I did just somewhere bring, uh, somewhere around there's just uh, Kev's plan on the seaside. And uh, what we really try and do is start off a topic with uh, a really groovy hook. So um, uh, year two, we've got had a letter from the Children's Information Centre. They're off on a visit to Western Supermare and then they're doing a big presentation to their parents at the end of term. A uh, Punch and Judy show. So it's really trying to get a product at the end of um, the topic that has meaning for them. And so we have five curriculum afternoons a year. So um, five times a year, the children are performing their, their product to their parent, whether it is a quiz or a Punch and Judy show. So um, we're very diverse school, um, about, uh, about 46% BME, and our biggest uh, ethnic groups are Somali children, Black African. And so it's always about relating uh, the curriculum, as we all know, to the children we're, we're teaching. But uh, it was a bit challenging for our group to call this topic in year three. But what they did do was they looked at uh, insects from uh, around the world, from the places where children have come from and their families have come from. Um, so uh, James uh, talked about making, so using the children's interest as starting point. Um, he's, He's really good at dressing up, and you know what? I had this just the most stupid plastic Viking hat, but that completely transformed the work they did around Eric Viking. Um, also, he's got a lovely celebration tree in his room where literally he's made this pet tree out of uh, green tissue paper. But every time a child you know, does this, a really fantastic piece of writing, he gets hung on the tree or a piece of homework. Um, Oh, and one of our favourite ever hooks was the dinosaur bones buried in the garden. So the boys and dinosaur bones from the museum, so actually buried the bones. And the, the first thing the children had to do that day was go and dig for dinosaur bones. And then that started their whole topic. Um, one thing we do is uh, the power of reading, which is, I don't know if any of you use that, but it's um, um, a project run by CLP. And it's, a board base. it's just as really simple as... Instead of uh, finding a book to meet your objectives, it's start with a book and what can you learn from the book. It is absolutely gorgeous way of working. Uh, a bit pricey to join, but a really, really good project for a school. I put this photograph up because we do loads and loads of uh, brilliant visits, but this was one of the most boring trips ever invented. It was walk to Temple Meads, get on the train, go to A, 